Not too long ago, I picked up a set of Bond Traeger Line Comp 30 wheels for the pumpkin bike that I have behind me. These wheels have been doing so, so good that I decided to pick up a whole nother set. Let's open up the boxes together, see what's inside, and let me tell you exactly why I like these wheels so much in this video. Hello my friends, welcome back to another episode of Regular Guy Mountain Biking. My name's Gene Arnold, and in this video, we're gonna do an unboxing of these Bond Traeger Line Comp 30 wheels. If you haven't watched my series on the pumpkin bike build, I'll put a link to it over my head. But in that bike build, I bought a set of Bond Traeger Line Comp 30 29 inch wheels. Again, these wheels are doing so, so well. What I wanted to do is get a set of 27.5 wheels, same, basically same make and model for the most part, I'll explain and have them so I can mix and match a little bit, maybe try the mullet thing. I have a couple bikes that can go, that can go either 29 or 27.5, so I figured if I had this set, I could mix it up a little bit. Plus, if I get any other frames or bikes to build up, I'd have a nice set of wheels, 29s and 27.5s, that I can use in those different bike builds for testing. All right, so with all that being said, let's go and open up the boxes and take a look at the wheels uh, that I got in from Sussex Bike Shop today. All right, so here we go. This is, which one is this? This is the, I don't know. It's one of them. It's either the front or the back. I got a 50-50 chance of being right. They come nicely packaged in, in the box. Okay, looks uh, something like this. Uh, nice foam uh, around it, like a wrapping, all the, I mean, they're, they're, they're pretty safe in the boxes. All right, so this is the rear. Okay, let's take a look at this guy. All right, Line Comp 30 TLR 27.5 rear mountain bike wheel. All right, um, let me give you a few specs over here. These are 33 millimeter outer diameter, 29 millimeter inner. They're 20 millimeters uh, tall, and these weigh 950, 950 grams. I got these set up with a uh, Shimano driver but you can get them with a, a SRAM driver if you'd like. I'll take a picture of this and, and show you uh, so you can see it a lot clearer than, than this. I took the driver off. The reason why I did this and why I said earlier that the, the ones on my, my, uh, my pumpkin bike were a little bit different is that the driver only had one, two, three paws on it, okay? Um, for a couple bucks, I was able to ask my, my buddy Jason at the shop to install the other three paws. So you'd have six paws to increase the, um, the level of engagement. It really made a massive dif difference. I'll, I'll spin the wheel in just a little bit and you'll, you'll hear and you'll see. So where I'm going with it is I didn't have to do anything extra to get the extra paws in these wheels. Now all these wheels come with all six paws. These are their, their I think they're called their rapid, what the heck is it called? Um, yeah, their rapid drive 108T uh, rear hubs. Okay, so I just wanted to show you this. Like I said, I'll take a picture. If you, I, hopefully I showed it already. Um, this was huge. It made a big difference, and I'm glad that they're actually delivering the, um, the hubs with these extra paws out of the box. All right, so let's talk about this rear wheel real quick. Uh, like I said, um, rapid, drive, uh, rapid drive hub on the back, okay? I mean, I kind of like the sound. It sounds pretty, pretty wicked when you're going down the hill. I, I like it anyway, like that. It comes with um, the, the valve stem already installed, and it also has this plastic um, bead, okay, or, or it's not tape, it's a plastic insert that makes it tubeless ready out of the box. So it's already tubeless ready with the stem already installed. So I like that. All right, um, not the highest end hub in the world, okay, they're, they're the J hooks, they're not the direct pull. But in general, I mean, it, it's, it's a light wheel. It's pretty damn sturdy because I've been beating the heck out of them on the pumpkin. And I gotta tell you, man, these retail MSRP um, for $199, that's not that bad. I'm sure you can get them for a couple bucks less than that. For a rear wheel, that's a good rear wheel. 
and uh, I'm digging it. So this is what I've got uh, in a 27.5 now opposed to the 29 to, to mess around with. Let's go up the other box and take a look at the front. All right, here comes the front. Let's open this guy up. And uh, same kind of packaging, has the, uh, the, the cardboard on top and a uh, nice foam type wrap around it. Okay, and we'll open this guy up. And here's the same little thing for info. Okay, so this is the Line Comp 30 TLR 27.5 front MTB wheel. Same thing, right, um, as you would expect, 33 millimeters outer, 29 inner, 20 high, and these are 830 grams. I should have said this earlier, these are both boost, okay? They're both boost, um, they're both boost sized, uh, well, um, hubs, okay? The, um, they're also both six, uh, six bolt brake, all right, six bolt rotor, um, six bolt rotor, I think that sounded kind of weird. All right, uh, through axle, front and rear, and just another really, really nice wheel. Same thing, it comes with the valve stem and the, uh, the plastic insert. Look, I, I gotta tell you, man, um, I've never had a set of high, high-end carbon wheels. Hopefully I'll get to try that sometime soon. So I can't say that these are carbon wheel killers or anything like that because I've never tried carbon wheels. So that, that would be silly. So I'm not. I'm not at all. But what I am saying is for roughly around 300 bucks, I think the front retails for 179 So like I said, you can finagle a little bit. For roughly around 300 maybe a little bit over, You've got yourself a really nice set of wheels. I mean, I really like these things. I've got them on the pumpkin, and I liked them enough to buy a whole other set of them. So these are not shabby, totally worth checking out. Let me go uh, spin the pumpkin. You can hear that rear hub. All right, I'm going to go pedal the pumpkin. I want to show you the, uh, the, the engagement, how quick it is. Again, these are the same wheels, only 29-inch wheels, and the, uh, the rear hub does have those extra paws installed. So essentially, they are the exact same wheels, except that they're 29 rather than 27.5. I like that sound. It sounds like a bee's nest coming at you when you're hauling down the hill. Uh, some people like it quiet, that's up to them, but I think that sounds pretty wicked. Now, listen, listen for the click here. Okay, listen for the click. I mean, I can, I barely even move the pedal backwards and it clicks. I mean, I, I, I can barely even move the crank back before I hear a click. What that click means is the tooth, uh, the paw moving back one tooth with inside the hub. So that essentially is how quick it would engage if I went the other way, but I, it's just kind of hard to, to show that. But I mean, I'm telling you, man, the engagement rate is really, really pretty good on such a, a inexpensive line of wheels. All right, folks, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Uh, again, these are the Bontrager Line Comp 30 27.5 mountain bike wheels. I'm, I'm stoked to start putting these together. I'll probably first, um, I've been getting into V tires lately. They've been working out really good. I've been putting them on a lot of my bikes. So I'm going to put a set of V tires on here. Probably the Crown Gems, maybe a 235, something like that. So I'm going to toss a set of Vs on these. These on these. <laughs> anyway, and um, probably try them first on the D6, my, um, my Polygon D6, and see what it's like. But all in all, um, if you're looking for an inexpensive but high quality set of wheels, definitely check out these Bontragers. I have nothing but good, say, good things to say about them and, and totally recommend them. That's going to do it. Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking. Keep the party on the pedals, my friends and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.